Well, it's a bright, colorful, and very popular fruit here in Hawaii, dragon fruit. But how do you plant it and maintain it yourself? Sherry Mikami board of, from the Board of Water Supply joins us this morning with more on that. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so Sherry, this is your actual free Xerox seed of the month, yes, right? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So when people come on down, for those who don't know, talk about your free Xerox seed. Okay, so on the first Wednesday of January, on the second, we'll be offering a free a uh, slip, a uh, starter slip of the dragon fruit. Actually, it's um, the night blooming cereus or strawberry pear. It goes by different names. Um, and that's all you need to start it. That's it. So garden visitors can come see us at the window. It's one per household. Comes with a fact sheet to get you started, and as well supplies last. Okay, cool. And I. No, nothing about dragon fruit. So when it grows, what, is it a bush? Is it a tree? It's actually like it, it grows up. So you would take a slip, um, cut it, cure it, which means dry it until it turns white. You do want to make sure you're planting it the right way. So you see the thorns here, they have to point upwards. Okay. So you're not planting it upside down. Um, you do want to plant it in some uh, well-drained soil mix like this cactus mix, and then also you can include some cinder, so it drains well. Um, and would that go, so this is the cinder, would that yes, go under. above or below? Okay, Actually, below. you can mix it in. Oh, okay. But so some people we'll put, put that on the bottom, so it's not sitting in water. Right, right. Makes sense. Okay. And then what would you do? Um, How well, would you maintain that? Well, actually, you don't have to main water it very often if it's okay. outside, only when it's dry. Um, when it grows, it does like to climb, like I said, so it would be good to put a pole in. I think I have a photo of our dragon fruit layer oh, in our garden. Um, also, or, you know, like a fencing or something, so mm -hmm. when it grows up and over, it's easier to harvest. Ah, okay. And then the blooms um, bloom only once, once at night. In about 30 days, if it is going to fruit, that's when your fruit's going to appear. Oh, nice. So yeah. this is the, the look at the bloom. And yep. there, there you yep. go. There's Those are the fruit, and it's actually over a fencing right there. Okay, so it yard. can grow fairly tall. It can. You do want to kind of control it, because if it's really happy, you just trim it back. Okay, and we've been doing, of course, all of our talking zero scaping. Is this a drought-tolerant plant? Definitely drought-tolerant, oh. yes. So okay. you don't have to maintain it as often as your other plants, which I really love. Okay, and for those who have maybe missed some of our segments, where can they learn more about drought-tolerant plants? Well, if you're up for it with the new year coming up, you might consider becoming a volunteer at oh. our propagation group at the Friends of Halava Zeroscape Garden Nursery. They meet on uh, Wednesday mornings, 9 a.m. to about noon, and you can learn about the scientific needs how to care for plants, how to propagate them. Perfect. Yeah. And, and where can we find more information on that group? Uh, on our website, borderwatersupply.com, or you can also try uh, friendsofalava.com. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then I have one more question about going back to the actual planting. Yes. So, so you said you you put a, the mixture that you can just yep, put... Like if you're putting in a container, or okay. you can grow it so in the it ground. So it would be in a pot to start usually? If it can be, yes, and then you would probably expand fairly quickly, quickly. from this. If it was a seed, it might take like two years, but with okay. the cutting like this much faster and in the ground if you're going to do it you might consider putting in a tire so okay. that you can kind of control it like the photo we have in our garden and it'll grow up instead of out and bushy and it you have to be careful with the thorns of course oh because all of these are yes tech yes oh, very sharp very oh they're sharp. little i almost didn't even see it yeah so I you'll just notice it, it. <laughs> Now I notice yes. it. Yes. But again, dragon fruit, so amazing. I, that's one of my favorite fruits yes. to eat. And it's a really beautiful plant it as well. It is, it is. And then the one we're giving away, we got some donation of the pink one, which is sweeter. Ooh, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, so while supplies last. All right, while supplies last. Again, make sure you head on out. Where can people find you again? Uh, BoardofWaterSupply.com. Okay, all right, make sure you head on out. Again, that's going to be at the start of this month. You can get yourself some free Xerox seeds for yes. the, or even more than a seed. What do you technically call that? Uh, this is a slip. Oh, yes. slip. Okay, yeah. get yourself some slips. Well, thank you so much, thank Cherry, you. for joining us this morning. And, oh, this is a good one. I'm definitely going to be there at okay. the start of the month. Perfect.